ենք արդեն առաջին մարզիկին այս մարդում գիվի մեսկի վրաստան ջորջյա So we welcome Givi Meski into the octagon. Givi in his last fight showed a very dominant ground game when it came to not only control from the top and ground and pound, but also a very rare skill set he has is when people are on mount mounting him. Rather than casually reversing using bridges, he just powers and muscles his way out of, of positions like mount. Very so, physical fighter. Very, very physically imposing, very uh, good off of the, not so much off of the bottom when it comes to the guard game, but more getting out of the bottom positions and yeah. when it comes to the top positions, he is relentless in the mount, yeah. in the half guard, in the side control, wherever he's put on the top, he's able yeah. to land big ground and pound and control uh, very, very well. Yeah, absolutely. And he's mainly known to be a kickboxer. From what we know. With all that said, what would you say his key to victory would be against more of a strike, striking best fighter? Um, I think he just has to close the distance, get the takedowns, you know, get um, do what get the other man, yeah. yeah, get the other man to bite on feints, and you know, essentially secure either a single leg, double leg, or whatever gets him the takedown. Yes, I agree. The, the cage work will be important you know, to get, get his opponent crowded up against the cage, try to get a double leg, single leg. Yeah. Just do what he's good at, do what he's yeah, been exactly. doing. It's uh, what it looks like to be his entire career. Georgian and the Armenian. Both guys, all business, all respect. Love Ready to see it. Good for a good scrap. Yeah. Here's the first round. Here we go. Hike is on the pressure straight away. Inside leg kick lands. Ooh, Outside leg kick, kick from Givi. 
Oh, oh takedown attempt from you know, Hike is going for the takedown, gets it. But he's got a guillotine mistake, though. Azikid Givy has swing. got a guillotine. He's pushing off his face, but yeah, he oh, gets out of it. Able to get out of it. Very well done. Rebian. Very well done, but the danger is there from Givy off the back as well. And we talked about his ability to get back up. Let's see yeah. if he's able to get back up and let's see if Hike Virabian is able to keep the top control. Givi has got one butterfly in right now. Sort of. He's going to have to work for... that and explode. Yeah, Givi is definitely not one of the people that will accept a takedown position. So he will be looking to sweep, to explode, to do anything but stay on his back. Exactly. But with that said, Haik Virabian is keeping the top control quite intact, not making too many risks, just trying to prioritize control over damage or submission or anything else. That position right there is very uncomfortable on the ribs of his yeah. opponent. It's very uncomfortable, but... I don't know how much he can do with this. Yeah, it, it will burn out his own legs, but... If he has to explode, he oh. has to get out of this position. Otherwise, he's in for a long night. And I think, I think he is trying to, but it's just a matter of Haik Virabian having good top control. Absolutely. Not letting anything... Yeah, take Occur. nothing away from Mr. Virabian. This is great top control from him. Oh. Gets one leg over. Good guard pass into half guard. Yeah. Once again, with Givi, it seems like the better position you get on him, the bigger chance he has of escaping. Yeah. As he that's that's his... what it feels like sometimes, yeah. Yes. Okay, he's got side control. Give, he's trying to put a leg in. He's trying to get some kind of control. But it's where it's very wearing when a man is on top of you. Like Haike is on Givi right now. Might be looking for a submission here. Let's see. So, Haik Virabian keeping side control. Once again, prioritizing position. No strikes really being landed, but that doesn't matter when you're when you have such dominant control. Yeah. So, Haik is doing an excellent job, but mitigating the get-up ability of Givi Meski, shutting it down. Absolutely. That was one of the things we thought would be actually one of the biggest advantages for Givi is not accepting the takedown, getting up, and so far, Hike has shut that down completely. Yeah. Yeah, this is big for Hike. He knows he can keep him down, so... He'll be looking for those takedowns possibly on and on and on. Yeah, absolutely, it will give him confidence for the rounds to come that if he gets him to the ground, he can keep him there. Ooh. Oh. It it seems to be, to a, be a pretty elbow. big elbow. Oh, oh, after the bell. 
throwing big shots at the bell. Yeah, but to be fair, the bell wasn't very loud at all. Yeah, I mean, they should fighters be. in the heat of the moment might not be able to of course. hear the bell, but good thing the ref jumped yeah. in to stop that exchange. Yeah. So it looked like a, quite a bit of damage done in the end. We'll see how Gibi is able to come back in the next round. Yeah. Oh, yeah, big elbows. About three. Yeah. Two big strikes and one small one at the end of that round. Yeah. Good thing there was no conflict this time. These things happen in the heat of the moment. So, we thought that GV had the advantage when it comes to the takedown. And he still might because we didn't see any of his top game. Yeah. We didn't see pause any of his, uh, you know, top control or anything yeah. like that. So we'll see if Givi can be on the offensive with his takedown, or maybe Givi will be on the offensive with his strikes. Yeah. Maybe the grappler versus striker matchup will be reversed. Oh, oh. big overhand and a slam! <laughs> Takes him down. Mixed in the overhand with he the might be adjusting. beautifully. Very nice takedown. Givi trying to get the guillotine from Hike. Unfortunately for him, Virabian passes beautifully into side control. Yeah. He's on top of one leg. That is a pretty nasty guillotine. He still kind of has it. He has one arm in, but that's definitely a lot of pressure on the on the neck of Haik Virabian. Haik has to blast his neck out of there. What Haik can do in this situation Ooh. is what's called the Von Flu choke, where he can yeah. Clasp his hands together, put pressure on the neck. From that position, that's right. But he didn't even attempt it. Interesting. Maybe it's not something that's a part of his arsenal just yet because he does seem to have more of a wrestler base rather than yeah. Jujutsu submission base. But the yeah. control is flawless so far. Absolutely, yeah. Little strikes from the top. Those do add up. Though. Give him as he seems to be prioritizing the mitigation of damage, trying to keep his opponent close to him. He's putting his head down. Yeah, exactly. He's keeping him close to himself. Keeping him compact so there's not enough space to land devastating elbows. Exactly. Nice sneaky elbow from Hike. Oh, oh, there's the full mount. Almost. Oh, okay. Give it it doesn't seem like he wants the full mount. Seems to be a dispute. Looked like a oh, maybe short said, knee landed on yeah. the grounded opponent. A bit of a protest, but nonetheless, we go on. Heat of the battle. Oh, yeah. Oh, and Givi doing a good job framing, not letting Virabian get a. Oh, but once okay. again, gets back his frame, but. Yeah. Virabian just plans to be relentless all night long. Exactly. Oh! Yeah, I don't know if those knees are legal. Those, oh, those knees are very legal. He's yeah. a grounded opponent. We've seen this in the Khabib Connor fight. Ah, oh, that's right. As well, that's right. When Connor threw uh, the same knee but harder. Yeah. Nice, right back to it. Same Maybe position. Maybe he wasn't aware of the rule. Hyde can get a choke right here. 
there's an arm triangle opportunity. Oh. He's got the elbow in deep, but oh, that him might be he, tough. Give him as he isn't letting the arm triangle land clean. Yeah, this is tough. Yeah, Viraben is putting Meski into survival mode right now. Yeah. Hike staying on the side control, pressuring Givy very much so. Yeah, this is a smothering, smothering pressure from Hike. Must be taking a lot out of Givy here. Yeah, because he is constantly bridging, trying to recover position. It is. It must be frustrating for him. Whereas yeah. Virabian, being a wrestler base, he has cardio for days. Oh yeah, wrestlers are known to have that relentless cardio. It's an absolutely grueling training process when it comes to wrestling. Yeah. But another dominant round from Ike Virabian. Virabian, that's right. Looks like he's found his key to victory and he just needs to stick to it, whereas Kivi he has to throw the kitchen sink on him, you know? Yeah, gotta bring out the A game for this. Bring out the whole ocean. Oh, yeah. You could say that. If Gibby's plan was to use his grappling advantage, or what appeared to be a grappling advantage yeah. on paper, uh, that now he most probably has to switch his, switch his game plan, just going throwing guns and blazing, throwing everything he has when it comes to punches, kicks, anything he can, knees up the middle as yeah. the wrestler comes in for the takedown. And he needs to utilize good timing, good takedown defense because he has a chance to win. Yeah, well basically fight. he has to try to knock Hike out at this point, I believe. Since Hike has been winning the last two rounds with the control that he's had, Kiwi's gonna have to look for something big in this round in terms of striking. So we'll see. This uh, Ben's submission defense is also very impressive. So it doesn't seem like Kiwi's key to victory is submission. It's more likely a knockout is uh, what would get yeah, him a win if he exactly. was. Exactly. And Hike Ben doing a fantastic job, fantastic game plan. Yeah. He just has to do more of the same. Oh, and a Ooh, bad nice team to the body. A kick but he took advantage of it. The takedown. Hike took advantage of that one. Givi will try to use the fence, but Hike Virabian doing a good job putting his back flat to the ground. He's got Not wrist control on him. Yeah, this seems to be very one sided when it comes to the grappling. Yeah, when it comes to the control, especially. Of course. Once again, Givi is mitigating the damage, but defense won't always win you fights, you know? Yeah. Not in this. At least defense without offense won't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and a smooth mm, side pass. control here. And yeah, once okay. again, he uh, does half seem guard. to. Virabian does seem to. Um, did seem to transition his wrestling style into MMA a little bit. Yeah. With the addition of jujitsu moves, a little bit of guard passes, but yeah, as you can see, wrestling is his main base and that top control. Of course, that relentless. pressure is is there. That's for sure. Oh, he's got he's got full mount. So, Haik Virabian in side control, going to be looking to either land strikes or advance into mount. Yep. See what he can do with this position. Very dominant on the ground from Haik Virabian.
there just doesn't seem to be much Givy can do from here. I mean, he's given him barely any space. So more of the same from Haik Virabian. Yeah. Big pressure. Givy throwing the grounded knees, but this time to the body, which is completely which legal. Which is legal, yeah. He's trying to get a wind up, but only so much you can do after a man has been on top of you for three rounds. Pause. Downward elbow, yeah. From Gibby Meski, but again, not enough space for him to work. Hike keeping his face very close to Gibby, not giving him. Oh, but looks like that elbow cut. What looks like to be Hike Virabian. Wow. Chance of Hike oh, in the crowd. Obviously, he's fighting on home soil. It's very much expected. Oh, looks like a big cut on the eyebrow of Haik Virabian. Yeah. Imagine if it would be a doctor stoppage. No. <laughs> but that would be look crazy. Like that would be the case. Yeah. Wait a minute. Was that a tie? No. Never mind. Oh, hard elbows to the body. Incredible control oh, from uh, Haik Virabian. Relentless control, as we said. Round after round after round. Exactly. He, the fight. he has maintained that. Yeah, Hike did seem to get cut open towards the end. And as you can see, the doctors are coming to check on that. But yeah, nonetheless, great strikes from the top from Hike. Incredible control throughout the whole three rounds. I mean, what else can you say? What else did... Oh, about the fight. Yeah. yeah, it was mainly about the pressure of Haik Virabian. Yeah, I suppose what I come in. As we've seen, I mean, there's not much else to add. Good game plan, solid performance. Yeah. He did what he needed to do to win. Congratulations. <laughs> Snorakalcun, <laughs> 